Good morning, and thank you for stepping into the Fire Playland. As always, I'm your Fire Player. Um, I have to excuse me because I'm using a uh, chapstick to hold up my phone whilst I drive. Um, I just wanted to make a follow-up video regarding um, my last boxing video which I made. And um, most of it has to do with um, not a particular fighter but more so the state of boxing and why I um, am always uh, disappointed of more and more with the sport especially here lately um, you know as everybody may well know uh, we're in the midst of the COVID-19 or more commonly known as the coronavirus or novel corona whatever you have um, in the uh, the sport of uh, basketball, it was uh, shut down immediately, or almost immediately, and there's rumors that there's not going to be a continuation to the season, which I guess is disappointing, but I don't watch basketball like that any longer because the Knicks stink. Um, baseball was set to start at the end of March. That um, starting point was delayed at the very least till mid-May from what they're saying um, but with uh, baseball they've uh, I mean um, well I'll get to that in a minute and then football doesn't really affect it and then you got a real good circulation of stories throughout the year in football um, so for instance the uh, season ended in January um, and we're getting ready to um, have the NFL draft um, here in April and then uh, mini camps usually start around July, August time frame, and the season starts in September. So, um, you know, get a good circulation of uh, football throughout the, the course of the year. And um, I highly doubt that this uh, coronavirus is going to affect anything um, regarding football. Um, with golf, I mean, the masses were suspended, which sucks. Would have been fun to sit back and relax and watch it today. Um, tennis is just always tennis. I watch every sport though. Like um, hockey got suspended too, um, which kind of sucked because that's the only team that I root for that that was doing okay uh, at the moment, which is the the Rangers, the New York Rangers. Um, but with boxing, on the other hand, boxing didn't have anything going on prior to this. Um, pandemic happening you know what we had were potential fights that were gonna happen or f fights that were on the rumor mill like to happening nothing announced and none of the fights that were being talked about happening or potentially happening were good fights it was all whack fights that we ain't want to see i.e the fight that i talked about in my last video which was danny garcia and errol spence nobody wanted to see that fight before it was announced and then you know we're relegated. I mean, if you're trying to save face or if you're trying to defend the fighter or defend the motion or whatever have you to draw it up like that's a good fight. That's not, I mean, that may be an okay fight, but the results equal to nothing. I mean, uh, people are going to say, oh, well, that's a mandatory. Um, that was, that just became a mandatory two weeks ago at Tops. That fight was um, unformally announced when Danny Garcia walked into the ring after Errol Spence beat uh, Sean Porter. And um, they made no mention of Sean Porter, I mean, of, of uh, Bud Crawford. Errol Spence didn't mention him. The uh, young lady who was in the ring, um, who did the post-fight interview, didn't mention him, didn't mention Bud Crawford neither. Um, what we did get was Danny Garcia fight, who was uh, Danny Garcia coming off a decision with the unknown in Ivan Redcash. Um, Canelo, I mean, like, it was, it's was, it been up in the air who he's going to fight next. Now they're saying that he's going to fight Billy Joe Saunders, followed by maybe uh, a Triple G fight, which I don't want to see neither one of those fights. I think the Billy Joe Saunders fight with Canelo is more interesting than the Triple G fight, and Billy Saunders has looked worse and worse um, in his last couple of performances. Um, but, um, 
Then you got uh, Jamal Charlo. He's going to fight Chris Eubanks Jr., maybe. I mean, a fight that nobody asked for. Nobody's ever checked for Chris Eubanks Jr. in this country, as far as America. Uh, Andrade is going to fight a guy named Liam Williams, who I never heard of until he announced that fight. So, I mean, it's all a bunch of... I mean, uh, if you guys could uh, see, I'm actually going through the Brooklyn Bridge as we speak. Let me uh, lift the camera up so I can show my beloved girl. Beautiful Brooklyn. Yeah, that's the Brooklyn Bridge. But, um... But it sucks. I mean, like... And I don't want to harp on yesteryear so much, but, you know, it's... it's boxing is, um... A sport that gyps the fans more and more, and they want to charge the fans more and more. Whether it be through the the Zone app, which is giving us substandard fights, which is uh, PB, or whether it's PBC um, getting um, a fight like Errol Spence and Danny Garcia and making it pay per view, or uh, Tank Davis Jr. against uh, against. Um, Jeez, I forget who he's fighting. That Mexican guy who's not a good fighter. Um, can't remember off the top of my head because I'm I'm um, driving and I just got off of working at night. But uh, you guys know who I'm talking about if you're interested in boxing. Oh, that's a better view of the Brooklyn Bridge. This is from uh, Dumbo or an area called Dumbo. But um, you know. And these fights are being put on pay-per-view. The Zone, like, um, they're indicating that they may do pay-per-view fights. Like uh, Ryan Garcia against Tank Davis. I mean, uh, not that I had the Zone. But it's just setting the precedent of um, us paying more while giving us less and less. Um, and it, it sucks because none of these... I mean, like, with, like um, none of these fighters... Like in the in the face of this coronavirus thing, or I, I, I put it like this: at the end of this coronavirus thing, when business resumed, I mean we're getting no better news than we did before this fight, before this uh, pandemic happened. Every fight that was announced before the pandemic is happening, like maybe after the pandemic, and they were all bad fights anyway. Like the fights I just mentioned: Danny Garcia, uh, Errol Spence, or uh, Chris Eubank. Um, um, Jamal Charlo Those are all bad fights The non-rematch uh, uh, Jamel Charlo not rematching Against um, um, The guy he just uh, Beat For his uh, belt Where he reclaimed his belt again I can't remember off the top of my head either But um, You know It's It's um, not scintillating there's, there's no incentive to watch boxing um, lately and uh, in the face of this coronavirus thing the most popping boxing news that has happened is like Floyd Mayweather's uh, daughter stabbing somebody and it sucks you know like with baseball I mean my team stinks the Mets always suck but at least uh, for the sport of baseball the year is going to be compressed. They're going to be a lot of double-headed games. They're going to try to make up a lot of time that was lost. Football is going to be popping. I mean, like, because uh, people are going to be jonesing for it, depending on how long this coronavirus thing lasts. And there's a slew of young talent that, uh, that are starting quarterbacks. Um, but with foot, with, uh, ba- with boxing, we get none of that. I mean, like, we get, like, no nothing good is happening right now the talent that's fighting right now particularly at welterweight i mean you don't know whether they're like world class or not because they don't take world class risks they don't fight each other i mean um and i i i'm sorry but i only pay for world class events and a, a lot of people like in my last video commented that um you know that it's a pbc problem right like and my my whole thing with that is that boxers and promoters Lately, take the, the the fans' goodwill, and they'll put out a little bit of uh, meat for you to chew on, boys. Um, as far as them giving you the impression that they're willing to look for the smoke or wanting all the smoke, 
So, for instance, Errol Spence, um, when he first started coming onto the scene, or you first started really hearing his name as a welterweight, he was calling out Keith Thurman. That was years ago. Keith Thurman's taken like two injuries since then. He was on the shelf for like two years, and uh, now, um, and and back then, uh, Errol was chasing all the belts. That was the uh, the uh, the script he was running with then. Now, I mean, like you know, you're fighting Danny Garcia for God knows what reason. I bet you he's gonna fight another mandatory that's uh, nobody we really want to see, you know. Um, and my assessment, he's never gonna fight Bud Crawford, you know. Um, but um, and that same thing goes with promotions, like uh, what, like as far as that. So like a lot. What I what I meant to say before is that. Um, Errol Spence is living off like some of the his willingness to look for um, the smoke from years ago, and um, thinking that that stuff's gonna run into 2020, and that's not the case. A lot like, and the same thing goes with the PBC. As I mean, and every pro, I I think all promotions are uh, are bad right now. I think out of every promotion right now, the one who's doing it the best is probably Top Rank, and then I like, and I I hate Top Rank. I hate Bob Arum. Not that I hate top rank. I hate Bob Arum. But they right now they have a great roster and they're putting good fights together. Hope I, I seemingly. I mean Lovinchenko is gonna have to fight um Damn, I can't remember names that I'm driving. I, I just got to my neighborhood now too. Um Domachenko's supposed to fight the kid out of Brooklyn, um the Honduran kid. Yeah, this is industry city. This is actually where the Nets the New York, the New Brooklyn Nets um, train, right up there. That's their uh, training facility. Look at the uh, view of Manhattan from my neighborhood. This is beautiful Sunset Park, from my hood. Yeah, but um, like I was saying, is that um, you know, now that no, uh, and um, PVC also like at first a lot of people I thought were giving them undue criticism. Um, saying that, you know, um, they were bad for boxing and they weren't, you know, and uh, I think it wasn't even out of the gate and people were saying that and I thought that was unfair. But right now, I mean, PBC fighters aren't giving us anything and then PBC as a promotion is wanting to charge um, us for a substandard product. And I, I could also say that about, and substandard product, I could also say about uh, Wilder versus Fury because you're paying near a hundred bucks and you had like one of the worst undercards I've seen um that was the worst undercard I've seen on a pay-per-view match to be frank but um you know I expect nothing less like when um when Leo Santa Cruz that's what I meant to say before or Tank Davis fight on a pay-per-view card so I expect nothing less for um Dan uh, Danny Garcia and an Errol Spence card. Like, it, you know, right now, I mean, like, you know, a lot of the criticism that's going in PBC's direction, I mean, and every boxing promotion, but right now, PBC, I think, is leading the charge as far as being disappointing into what the product that they're giving uh, to the fans, or to me. I'm a fan. But, um, you know, and I just don't want to take that stuff no more. I mean, like, you know, there's a, I like all sports. I mean, I love boxing, but um, the bo boxing uh, fanhood, I mean, is dwindling. There's no, you don't see a lot of newcomers like um, coming to the sport. That you don't see a lot of people participating in the sport. They shut down the gym in my neighborhood, the dungeon. Um, we got one gym, but it's like a mixed gym, like mixed martial arts and boxing. I hate those. Um, you you know you don't got young people that are interested in the sport because none of these events like really mean much like there's like a thousand belts um guys that have walk into the ring like you used to see back in the day one guy had a belt another guy had a belt the simplest thing um that you could sell us i mean that barely happens nowadays and i'm pretty sure they're going to start charging us for the uh, luxury of seeing two guys with belts um fight each other so it's whack, man. I don't. I don't I'm, I'm not paying for that. Like, kiss my ass. I'm gonna keep my money. Hopefully, these things start changing. Though I don't see them changing. I think that um, 
a lot of these promoters or promotional outfits are um, staying within themselves and working within themselves. And um, it's it's a game of tit for tat. Um, I think that the PVC should have um, bucked the, uh, the system in that regard. And initiated um, some good fights, especially like right now. I mean, like it'd be dope if we were having a Bud Crawford and Errol Spence fight that's coming down the pipe potentially. Um, but that ain't happening. Um, but um, you know, with the uh, welterweight division, which is like the the glamour division, I mean, pretty soon that it's gonna be top to bottom, like you know, top rank. You know, like. So that whole, like, other side of the street stuff, like, I mean, that stuff is corny, bro. Like, you know, I, like that, like, if you were a friend of mine, I mean, and, um, and somebody came to bring you drama and you said something one bit similar to, like, anything that sounds like, you know, other side of the street or, you know, even though it's hard to relate that to regular terms, you wouldn't be my friend no more. Like, I mean, like, I, I, I know you... I know you lack of heart. You know what I'm saying? Like and that's what these um these boxes um and these uh promotions are doing and like they think that they're sounding like cool or, or um or um tough or business savvy to the point that you know we're not up to like, you know, how boxing works. You know, um and they think that they're going to get um, consumers out of me or other boxing fans. I hope they get less consumers. I mean, like, I love seeing, like, athletes get paid, particularly boxers. But um, I'm starting to, like, wish ill upon them in that department. Or, like, I'm starting to hope that they can't make money unless they're taking good fights. You know, like, because it, it, it's it's ridiculous what's happening with the sport. Um, and I don't want to stand for it no more. I'm... Seriously considering um, becoming more of a casual fan, like, because uh, becoming a boxing observer is one of the most frustrating parts of my life. Like, really, really, really looking into the business of boxing or finding out, trying to find out who's uh, looking to fight who. And it's one, like, I mean, I really started doing that in the last 10 years, even though I've been a boxing fan for um, decades. But... I think I started looking at the business of boxing right at the time when boxing was like at its wackest, business-wise and fights-wise. Um, let me know what you guys think, whether you agree, disagree, um, any objections, gladly take them, any arguments, whatever, I ain't doing shit, corona, got us all locked down. But uh, with that, I'm out, hope you guys uh, take care of yourselves uh, in the face of this coronavirus. I don't know how to turn my camera on. But um hope you guys are taking care of yourself and um hoping that this uh, coronavirus um thing goes away and resume to uh business as usual. I'm looking around my neighborhood as we speak and you know, normally this is like pretty packed and you guys can see like ain't shit going on. This is I don't live here no more, but I'm coming to check uh on my brother. But, uh, yeah, there's a couple heads out now, but pretty dead um, for the most part in uh, beautiful Sunset Park. But with that, guys, I'm out. Take care of yourselves. May the gods bless you. Peace.